Hello, I am back with another Players League game, this time on a World at War map. There are 43 players that are participating, and for this map we have made a different set of rules to avoid the situation that we had last time. So uh, let's check it out in the Discord lobby before I get started. So it's a 100 player map, players are anonymous, random country selection, no peace period, the game ends after 21 days, the game is not ranked so stats won't be affected, gold use is not allowed, no trades between players, no shared maps or right of way between players, there's no coalitions or teams, Players are not allowed to reveal their identity both in the game or on other platforms. Every player that we learn that doesn't respect this will be banned from the round. Each player is allowed to have one non-aggression pact. The non-aggression pact needs to be registered. When they wish to cancel a map, they need to give a 24-hour notice to the player in question and to me and only after those 24 hours have been passed, the player is allowed to attack the other player in question. Throughout the game, each player can only have maximum 3 non-aggressive packs. So they need to choose them well, because they only have 3 cards that they can use. And then the rest is a little bit more about covering our asses if any action is required and then of course players are sharing maps with me so that I can observe the rules and the fair play of all players. For this game there's a different set of points, first place 10 points, second place 8 points, third 6 points, fourth place 4 points and the fifth place is 2 points. Each player that goes AI during the game gets a penalty of one point. So this is fun. There are 43 veteran players on the map, a map where nobody will go AI. In the most regions on the map, players are attacking AI. As you can see over here, same is happening over here. There is one player, however, who is getting hammered Southwest Africa and Manchua Land have a non-aggressive pact, so Southwest Africa secured his flank and is now attacking Angola, which is a player, and as you can see, he is in big trouble as he's being attacked both by Angola and by Southwest Africa. He's using a, a combination of a light tanks and artillery and if i'm not mistaken his doctrine is axis yes indeed axis perfect early game tactic if you want to aggress early on with axis then light tanks and artillery would be a very good option so the first player will be almost off the map being angola which is a bit of a pity as we are only 15 hours in the game, it is day one, and already one player is down. Here also Upper Volta and Mauritania are in war. Players want to take out their neighbor as fast as possible before the threat becomes any larger. I'm very curious to see who will come on top of this. Here there seems to be only artillery in the game, however, and much less units than Southwest Africa had. He had a lot of units. I need to check those out later on. So it's mainly starting units versus starting units. Time will tell who is going to get on top in this battle. In Europe, Ukraine and Poland are at war. In Europe, both Poland, Ukraine and Argolansk are attacking Belarus, which is an AI country. Poland is also attacking Czech Republic and Ukraine is also in war with Romania. Also Romania is an AI, so uh, Ukraine is going aggressively after AI. 
how that will work out for him is something else because he has his border with Poland. He now shares also a border with Argolansk. So it is a big question what will happen here. We will see. Italy is going for Switzerland. UK is uh, moving all his units south and a couple of them to Ireland. Also here in Asia, nothing special is happening so far. No players are at war. So let's check what is happening in the United States or in North America to be exact. Also here players are mainly going after AI. It looks like Kentucky over here and Kansas are going to be at war soon. I see units, a lot of units moving, artery moving in. Yeah, those are going to have war soon enough, I guess. In South America, same story, players going after AI for now. So yeah, let's check out the one and interesting fight over here, which is uh, Southwest Africa versus Angola. He does have a lot of units and on top of it, Angola has accused him of gold use. So I've asked the game operators to do a gold check. We'll soon know what the verdict is. He doesn't have a lot of units though. Four armored cars, three anti-air, nine infantry, five artillery and three light tanks. I must be missing units. I don't think I've selected them all. Did I select them all? Because it means he has lost a heck of a lot of infantry. I don't see any other infantry. So if I count correctly, that's 4, 7, 16, 21, 24 units. So let's check out how many units he has. So I missed two units. Oh, he had heavy losses. He had heavy losses in doing so. So he actually has won some territory, but it came at a hefty price. That is for sure. So let's go into the newspaper and let's uh, check out what is happening. Ouch. Yeah, Southwest Africa lost 11,000 manpower. I guess we know where those infantry went. He lost one, two, four, six, seven, seven infantry, one interceptor and one armored car. That hurts. It's one of the main reasons why I always tell players to never blitzkrieg. Well, that is an advice I give to beginners. If you're a pro player and you have no choice, please go ahead. You need to do anything to survive, but I usually always try to avoid blitzkrieg when I have the chance. For the rest, nothing much important is going on on the map. I'll be back for more info once the map evolves itself.